Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, Major LaFlash here. I wanted to give a quick update um, for technically what's going to be our first quarter podcast of 2022. Um, a little delayed, uh, but with this first uh, podcast, uh, we kind of just got behind a little bit, and I just wanted to take a couple minutes here to update everybody on where we're currently at as a third infantry division realism unit. Um, so news so far um, from the first quarter um, and a little bit into second quarter, uh, but we'll have a second quarter podcast um, on schedule, hopefully, uh, here in July. Um, so first off, I have Operation Blue Giant. Uh, we launched into Operation Blue Giant um, in April, uh, so just after uh, first quarter. Um, so that is a deployment for us to Lithuania um, to fight the Russian separatists. Um, this came up with the, um, our S2 intelligence, um, with their planning and how they execute things, um, has been outstanding so far. Uh, so far we've completed five combat operations as of June 5th of this year, um, and five patrols as of June, uh, 5th this year. Um, so hopefully, uh, this is a deployment that'll last roughly a couple more months. Um, so far we've been already through two full maps about to launch into our third uh, third map. Um, we have been anywhere from tracking down Russian uh, separatist bosses or uh, chiefs, um, trying to secure EPWs uh, for intel. Um, we have also done a, a patrol, uh, or a combat mission as well, on uh, trying to find the Prime Minister, <laughs> um, which we did not come up uh, very successful. So if you haven't checked it out already on YouTube here, uh, we have a playlist of our combat operations and patrols uh, that has thus far happened under the playlists of Operation Blue Giant. So I would uh, highly advise you uh, checking that out. Uh, another quick update, we did announce our first quarter, uh, Soldier of the Quarter, um, here in March, April. Um, so we wanted to definitely give some sh uh, special shout out to Staff Sergeant Nathan Cooper. Um, who was selected as our Alpha Company Soldier of the Quarter. Uh, Staff Sergeant Cooper uh, joined our unit, rejoined our unit, I should say, uh, May of 2021, um, where he was assigned to 2nd Squad Alpha Company um, and quickly uh, moved to 3rd Squad and then 4th Squad um, to serve as a fire team leader. So he kind of hopped around a little bit when he first came back, um, mostly just to his uh, versatile ability uh, to lead and have people follow him. Um, since then, uh, the staff sergeant has been a squad leader of our fourth squad, Phoenix. Um, throughout his time here, he's shown a very strong passion and dedication um, to our unit. Uh, while leading combat squads, he's shown excellence. Um, he's been in several DMOSs, um, including most recently our non-commissioned officer of public affairs, um, and then also our... BMO as an electronics maintenance chief um, working inside BMO. Um, these qualities uh, really show his leadership potential, um, his dedicated service. Uh, Staff Sergeant Cooper um, was awarded the Soldier's Medal uh, for being uh, selected as Soldier of the Quarter. If you haven't seen that already, uh, hit our website up. Uh, there is a uh, tab for Soldier of the Quarter. Um, news that's happened, um, or big events, I should say, that's happened uh, in quarter one. Um, we had the promotion of Master Sergeant Brock uh, moving from first platoon, platoon sergeant, uh, up to Master Sergeant Company First Sergeant slot. Uh, since then, he's also been promoted to uh, First Sergeant. Uh, we'd had, at the time, Staff Sergeant Tucci, uh, which was our Phoenix 4th Squad squad leader, uh, move uh, from his role of being a squad leader into that platoon sergeant role, um, and then thus far been promoted to sergeant first class. Um, we've had a couple shift uh, shifting, uh, as I talked about Sergeant Cooper earlier. Um, he moved into that vacant fourth squad squad leader slot, um, earning himself um, lots of merit as well as soldier of the quarter. Um, another thing that happened in the month of February March timeframe, we had the retirement of Lieutenant First Lieutenant uh, Bailey. Lambert. Uh, he was promoted to captain upon his retirement, um, so we hope he has been doing well in the retirement home <laughs> these last couple months. In March, we also had an expert infantry school course 
Uh, this course consists of soldiers that qualified uh, proficiently in warrior tasks. Uh, soldiers were tested on land navigation, uh, weapons qualification, call to fire, uh, basic first aid, map drills, um, just land nav in general uh, can get you lost, definitely if you're me. Um, with that, we graduated actually myself. Um, I, was the, I was finally able to get through expert infantry uh, school. It took me, uh, oh, you know, 15 years to actually complete the course. Um, also, we had Sergeant Winters um, and Specialist Kidon, and then Staff Sergeant Vandal also graduate that course. Uh, that was led by First Sergeant um, Brock, uh, Sergeant Pendergast, and Specialist Fives uh, were our instructors. Also, since our first um, quarter podcast, uh, Arma Roof Forger was acknowledged. Um, last month, um, Arma 3 and Bohemia um, announced and um, they've been working on uh, for the last couple to five years, um, Arma Reforger. Um, Arma Reforger is a new infusion engine. Um, Arma Reforger lets you fight uh, for supremacy over a 51 kilometer um, island map currently right now. It's based around the world uh, Cold War setting. Um, and you can kind of create your own scenarios, much like Arma 3, uh, but you're able to, um, it's not necessarily Zeus, but it's similar to Zeus uh, missions and maps. Um, we've had a couple good days uh, playing around with it. Currently right now, we're not looking to expand to that. Uh, they did announce that this uh, Arma Reforger is kind of like that bridge uh, between Arma 3 and Arma 4. Really, this is their uh, game to test mods. Uh, work out the bugs, and really just get ready for Arma 4. Um, Arma 4 is a uh, game that we're going to be looking to expand to uh, when it's released, um, most likely for sure in the alpha, um, but we'll we'll kind of see as we get to that point. So um, other than that, that's kind of all the news I have for first quarter. Um, it's been a very eventful quarter. Uh, we've had some change of leadership in squad and platoon and company, um, a couple retirements here and there. Um, we've had a new three cab commander come in with uh, Warrant Officer Frost at the time. He's now Lieutenant Frost. Um, and we've really just gone after it so far this quarter. I look forward to quarter two. So far, we're well into it. Um, and we're going to be able to continue to push ourselves uh, through the summer. Um, so hopefully you check in again. And hopefully we see you um at our quarter two podcast where we'll announce some more news as well as a new soldier of the quarter. Thank you.